Austin's top doctor says a big concern now heading into the New Year's Eve holiday is the spread of the virus at bars. As conditions get worse, the city says finding these businesses is a last resort. But KXAN investigator Kevin Clark discovered tougher words have not translated into stronger actions. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot Ice House plans to host live music acts on New Year's Eve. We plan on entertaining the crowd, feeding them, and uh, doing a lot of good stuff. Operator Austin Talley says he converted the bar to a restaurant to accommodate the governor's orders that allow restaurants to open with restrictions. Thousands in Texas have done the same, but Austin's top doctor has said these places are hot spots for the virus. On Monday, Dr. Mark Escott reiterated there's even more urgency now. You know, it's certainly possible that, that within a week we can run out of ICU beds. Uh, we've seen dramatic increases in the ICU utilization in particular over the past week. Last week, health officials also had strong words for the converted bars, even posting a list of places the city's fire marshal has cited for COVID-19 violations throughout the pandemic. Recently, we have moved to an enforcement perspective. Um, so what's going to continue to happen now is citations will be issued. If you look at the city's latest complaints about overcapacity and mask violations in the last two weeks, bars and restaurants dominate the list but we couldn't find any citations given out. If anything, education or a verbal warning was provided. Tally says he can't speak for other businesses, but at his, people have been well behaved. There are rare exceptions, and he says he doesn't hesitate kicking those people out. And that's just somebody who doesn't get it. You know, we have to repeatedly go by and say, hey, when you're leaving your table, put your mask on. Kevin Clark, KXAN Investigates. In a statement, Austin Public Health called this a community effort and said they cannot possibly catch every violation.